Let's learn about the differences between congruent figures and similar figures. Congruent figures are identical in their shape. The word congruent can be replaced with a phrase like exactly the same. Not only is the general shape identical, the sizing itself is also congruent. Take a look at these two triangles. If we stack them on top of each other, the one on top would pretty much hide the one on the bottom. This is one way to know that these triangles are congruent. But now, let's take a look at these two triangles. These are not congruent. No, instead we would call these similar figures, in that the shapes look identical but different in size. So again, if you look at the angles, these triangles have the same angles, making their proportions the same. But when we place the small figure over on top of the bigger one, we can see that one is definitely bigger than the other. Just remember that a triangle can be similar, maintaining the same angles, but if it's different in size, then we cannot quite say that the triangles are congruent. Finding the similarity between two figures isn't always just about looking straight at the angles either. Sometimes we might be given two triangles that don't have any information about their angles, mm -hmm. but instead information on only the side lengths. In this case, if we look at these two corresponding sides, we see that this side is double the length of this side. And since it's bigger by exactly two times the amount, we can check if it's a similar figure by seeing if every other side and their corresponding sides are also two times the length. After confirming that each side is indeed two times the length of its corresponding side, we can say that these two shapes are indeed similar figures. So let's take a look at these next two examples. We need to start by thinking to ourselves, are these congruent, similar, or neither? Well, they definitely are not congruent, since the sizes are obviously different. But are they similar triangles? Well, if they are, the angles should be the exact same. But we don't know the angles for now. Another way, like we mentioned before, was to check if the ratios between each corresponding sides were the same. So let's divide each corresponding length with each other and see if we end up with the same ratios for all sides. Let's start with the sides DE and AB first by doing 5 over 2, which equals 2.5. Then sides EF and BC by doing 10 over 4, which also equals 2.5. Lastly, FD over CA is 7.5 over 3, which also gives us 2.5. Aha! And as we can see, the ratios between each corresponding lines are the same. This means that the triangles are in fact similar figures. Great, so now you know the difference between congruent figures and similar figures. Make sure you practice some more questions and we will see you guys in the next one.